instant cash method two Facebook traffic to your created product once you've created your product the easiest and fastest way to get it up for sale is to use JVZoo for your entire process I'll show you what that means here in a minute JVZoo will not cost you any money up front as it has a site builder in place in case you don't know HTML and don't have a designer budgeted you will want to make sure that you have a file that is deliverable and protected by the download section of JVZoo and that file will need to be a maximum of 128 megabytes now let's take a look at JVZoo before we start our discussion about Facebook in particular okay I am literally inside of the product creation screen for JVZoo right now so you're just gonna go and add a product or create a product inside of your JVZoo account and when you do that you're going to notice some basics here um, I have filled in some of this information already before we started this video obviously you're going to eventually want to allow sales you want your product to show in the marketplace and you want to make sure that you're doing a good description because when people are searching for certain products in order to promote or certain products in order to buy you want to make sure they find your product if it is relative to what they want okay when you start thinking about affiliates okay you're gonna to want to start thinking about what you want to pay them generally 50% is the going rate if you're gonna have an affiliate and, and and more than likely you're not going to be putting together prescription or subscription but you can do that here you can limit the number of uh, the product that you are going to sell in general you probably won't do that now I just put in some a dummy support address and a dummy support URL okay now a couple of keys here for the sales page we're going to use the JVZoo instant sales page and we're going to use the protected download now remember the protected download allows us to upload a file to JVZoo that's no larger than 128 megabytes so if you have your product ready to be delivered as less than 120 megabytes you are going to be in uh, you is going to be in a good position because you're not going to have to create anything you're not going to have to create a members area you're not going to have to FTP anything you are going to be able to deliver this product from the sales page and that is the key because we're not talking about your having to buy anything by hosting unless you just want to um, however this is going to make it dramatically easy for you in order to sell let's go to the other side here just for a second obviously you're going to use PayPal like I said you want to make your your product descriptive as possible make sure that you have chosen your categories correctly and your keywords the uh, Facebook discount um, you can give people a discount if they share your product and this is going to help you um, you can make this a one dollar discount right now the other things are kind are, are sort of things that you can implement along if you want to however for the most part this product is is pretty much ready to go where we can start looking at the instant sales page okay now I am inside of the product that I just created and I have looked at the instant sales page remember we are not using an externally hosted page we're using an instant sales page now all we've got to do in order to get our product ready for sale is to click this edit button and then we can start working with our template right inside of here and we again once again the real beauty of this is that we do not have to know at uh, HTML in order to do this okay we are going to want to make it look like a sales page we want to make it look attractive we want to make it look appealing but if we want to get our product up and running this is going to be a dramatically quickly way for us to be able to do that and all we've got to do is change the copy in here and use the buy buttons that are already in here okay JVZoo will give you some options in terms of other buy buttons you can use but you want to get this product done and you want to move it so that you can start making money quickly now you can always come back 
change your headline, change some of the copy, do what's necessary to tweak it once you start really getting traffic. But you want to put your sales page together inside of this site builder. And then once you're, you're, you've done that, you're going to click save. Your product is going to be ready and it's going to be ready for sale. You've got your button there. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to create some pre-sale content on our blog. We probably don't want to send people directly from Facebook. We don't want to poke our link in there because, once again, that does look a little spammy. So we want to then create a blog post. And when we create our blog post, what we want to do is we want to make sure that we're talking about people's problem that this product solves. And we want to write something that's going to be attractive to them. And we're basically, once again, as we called it in previous videos, we are pre-selling the offer. We are pre-selling the offer. Now, the keys, a couple of things here that you want to know about, uh, about, about a blogging template. Now, when we create this blog post, we're going to do a couple of things. Now, someplace in our content, we want to link out to our offer. So we want to be able to highlight this, some of the text, click the link button, right, from our pre-sale page. And this is where we want to put the URL for our JVZoo instant sales page. We're going to drop that, uh, that link in here. And now we have our pre-sale content. Now we are inside of the HTML side. You can actually also use the what you see is what you get side or the WYSIWYG side. Okay, and we've got our pre-sale content in here. Now one of the important things that you want to remember about a blog is that you want to put an image in there because the image is actually what's going to show when you post your link to Facebook. So you want to try to find a relevant image, not necessarily to your offer. You want to find a relevant image to the content and to the problem that people are having. In fact, you want to make sure that the image that you pick is going to help people to solve their, or it's going to help people to think about the problem that they have that they want solved. Now, you can put that image there by clicking the Insert Image button right here. And we want to add that image someplace inside of our content where we can. Okay, the basis is we want this image to be the thing that's going to show when we post this link to Facebook. Okay, now once we're finished with our post, our pre-sale content, and we've given our our buyer a good call to action that will send them to uh, the offer once they're finished reading our post and finish either maybe watching a video that we've given them. We're going to publish it and then post it to our Facebook page. The reason we are using Facebook traffic to send it to our own offer is because we have built a typically you've already built a trust relationship with those people that are on your Facebook page and those people that you are following and that are following you, you have a better chance of being able to convert an offer that you have put together with people that are probably going to be like you and like-minded and people who already know what it is that you do and what it is that you are doing with internet marketing. And so these are people that will look at your product, hopefully, if you have built a relationship with them. Now, we're not talking about using a fan page in this particular case. We're not talking about building up a fan page. We're talking about using your personal uh, your personal Facebook page in order to let people have this uh, access to this offer. Now, what you need to understand is that Facebook has an edge rank algorithm, which will only show your post to only so many people. So you're not going to show it to everybody, right? So you're going to have to to think of different ways in which you can attract people using these blog posts, where you are basically writing pre-sell copy. Right? You want to get good at writing pre-sale copy that will lead people to click the link inside of the article you create and then go over to your offer. 
Now, you may want to break this up. You may want to create an article and post it to Facebook. You may want to create a video and post it to Facebook. Everything that you can do in order to get people's attention, relate to them, and then get them looking at your offer. Okay, remember now the pre-sale content. You should be creating interesting content. You don't want to post, uh, you don't want to, you don't want to spam people. You want to give them content that's really helpful because this will, this will ensure that the next time you post something, they're just not going to ignore it because you are always posting sales pitches. You need to try to do in your post, give people something that's really going to help them. Now, all social media postings should follow this rule, jab, 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 right hook. Uh, something that very uh, social media expert Gary Vaynerchuk says. In other words, uh, for every three posts that you, for every four posts that you do, three of them should be helping people or inspiring people or giving people something funny that they can use in their lives before you go sending them to something that you're going to be selling to them, them selling to them. Right. Let's take a look at your Facebook page just for a second here. And obviously, you're going to want to be posting your content right inside of your newsfeed. Once again, now, we could discuss getting fan pages, but again, this is an instant cash course. So we're, we're, not, we're, not going, we're not going to use those methods in order to build up a fan page and get fans and all of these things. You want to be posting something that's going to be helpful to the people that you know and get them over to your offer. Okay, so that's about it for this, uh, uh, this, uh, this method, and with that, thanks, and I will see you in the next video.